Hi, I'm Elisa Healy. We're here at the Lord's Taverners um, Championships down in Wollongong on this lovely day. I've managed to pick up Lisa Stalaker, the recently retired Lisa Stalaker. We thought we'd ask her a few questions. Um, how are you today? I'm going well, thanks. You, Mitch? Not too bad. Look, I've obviously just retired. Um, was it a really difficult decision for you to make or did you feel like the, your time was just up? Uh, my time was up. Um, I had to pick a right moment and uh, what better moment than winning, you know, a World Cup over in India. So obviously it was emotional, which you saw, Midge, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think it was the right decision. Um, tell us, obviously you've played for Australia and New South Wales for a very long time. Are there any sort of special memories that stand out over your long career? I've been very fortunate enough to be part of some really successful teams. So I've um, been able to win both the WNCL WT20 just recently and then also the T20 World Cup and also the World Cup. So I've got very fond memories, um, but obviously the ones recently also for the Len Lease Breakers winning our first T20 title, that was really special. Um, and then also in India, I think um, it was a great bunch of girls and we were able to pull through. And you know, I'm just excited to see you youngsters go out there and show us how we could have done it better. Fair enough. Um, so obviously retirement now, what are you um, looking to do now that you've got a lot of more spare time really? Well, I had my first uh, free cricket weekend. I managed to go to the Taste Festival, so I felt, oh, this is what normal people do. <laughs> so that was nice. And I think uh, next weekend uh, we're celebrating someone's birthday. I, I don't know who that birthday is. She's getting old. No, it's not mine. Don't. No, I know it's mine. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're going for a nice little lunch and maybe a few little beverages. Yeah, fair enough. What are you, I guess, what are you looking forward to about retirement? Like, obviously you're going to miss cricket, but what are the things that you're maybe going to catch up on or, you know, just experience? I think I've had some really... Uh loyal friends that have not seen me during the summer and sometimes winter now because it's pretty much become a professional sport so looking forward to catching up with them um, them and their kids uh, and also just spending more time with my family and friends and um, doing the normal things going down to the beach um, going for brunch uh, cooking nice meals so dinner parties you might get an invite Excellent. Um, on a different note, we've got the um, Sydney Women's Grade Finals this weekend. Um, universities against Bankstown, who have made, I think, their seventh straight um, grade finals. So um, give us your hot tip for this weekend. Who do you reckon is going to take it out? I actually think that universities um, might just scrape through. I think they've got the real hunger. They haven't. It's their first final. Um, both Alex and Rachel Haynes are looking to do the complete ultimate win everything possible in this universe. <laughs> so, um, you know, I wish them all the best. I actually think it'll be a really tight contest and I think it's great for women's grade cricket that, you know, there's two quality teams there fighting for the trophy. Definitely. And just finally, we've um, actually got um, the Steve Waugh and Melinda Clark medals coming up. Um, Give us a little insight on who you think will um, take out the big one, but maybe the um, the WNCL and the WT20 awards as well. You can't say yourself. Okay, I don't. But you can. Well, I actually don't <laughs> think I've got a chance, but thanks. Um, I actually think uh, Alex Blacker will come away with the Belinda Clark medal. She's done extremely well in all formats. I think she'll walk away easily with the 50 over. T20, I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. Everyone's done really well. Um, you were up there for a bit of time. You were scoring a few runs. No chance. Yeah, but Sundays, you didn't like Sundays, so that might kill you. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be tight. But I think Belinda, uh, Belinda, Alex will win the Belinda Clark medal. Fair enough. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much, Lisa. Well, thank you, Midge.